Following a knee replacement surgery, surgeons may order precautions for the individual to follow to maintain the integrity of the knee joint during the healing process. Let's review knee precautions as it may impact an individual's ability to get dressed. In general, knee precautions include no twisting of the knee and no placing pillows underneath the operative knee. It is important to maintain these precautions until you are cleared by your surgeon. Now, let's discuss putting on pants and undergarments after a knee replacement surgery. Oftentimes, individuals will twist or cross their legs in order to put on pants. Here are some examples of crossing and twisting at the knee joint that should be avoided. Now, let's discuss how to put on pants with the use of adaptive equipment. You will need a reacher for this task. It is recommended to dress the operative leg first. To begin, the individual will bunch up the fabric until there is a clear hole from the waistline of the pants to the bottom of the pant leg. Using the reacher, the individual will clasp the reacher claws around the bunched fabric. From there, the individual will place the end of the reacher with the bunched fabric right next to the operative leg. Next, the individual will slide their leg into the hole. Using the reacher, the individual will bring the pants up until it is over the knee. Next, follow the same steps with the other leg. The individual is allowed to cross the unoperated knee to dress the other leg if they prefer. However, make sure that the individual does not cross the operated leg. Once the pant waistline is over both knees, have the patient stand using proper body mechanics to pull the waistline of the pants over their hips. Now, let's discuss putting on socks after a knee replacement. Oftentimes, individuals will also twist or cross their legs in order to put on socks. Here are some examples of crossing or twisting the knee when putting on socks. Now, let's talk about how to put on socks with a knee replacement. If the individual is able to reach their toes, they are allowed to put on socks from the ground as long as they do not twist their knee in the process. If the individual is not able to touch their toes or does not prefer that method, they may utilize a reacher and a sock aid. Here is a quick view of the sock aid. The individual will slide their sock onto the sock aid on the side with no ropes attached. This will create an opening for the individual to slide their foot into. The individual will grab both ropes and drop the sock aid on the ground with the sock opening by the foot. The individual will use the ropes to slide the sock over the foot, choking up on the ropes as they are pulling the sock over it. Once the sock is on the foot, the individual can use the reacher to readjust the sock as needed. To take off the sock, 
the individual can use the reacher to grab onto the outside of the sock and push down to pull the sock off of the foot. Finally, let's discuss how to put on shoes after a knee replacement. During this, the individual should not cross their knee in order to put on the shoes. Rather, we recommend using adaptive equipment. For this task, we will use the long-handled shoehorn. To begin, the individual will place the shoe below their leg. The individual will slide the top half of their foot into the shoe. From there, the individual should place the long-handled shoehorn along the back of the shoe to help provide support for the heel when sliding into the shoe. Depending on the type of shoe you have, you may need assistance from a family member or friend to tie shoelaces or help slide the shoes onto the foot. 